Today I'm going to tell you a secret that is better than AI. That's right, you heard me. You heard me. It's better than AI for real estate marketing. All right? That secret, which is so much better than AI, allows you to make most of your marketing decisions without a lot of thought. It's automatic. It's based on your profit. And it's absolutely cannot miss. All right? Here's the only formula that you're going to need for most of your marketing decisions. And the formula is based on, well, for digital marketing solutions. For long, as long as I've been in the real estate business, I've practiced something called breaking it down to the ridiculous. And here's how that works. If you own a website, most of you do, in order to understand whether that website is or is not working, you need to understand how many people are coming to the site and do they take action when they're on the site, an action that makes your business money. That action would be, do they register as a lead? And if those leads are registered, do you track where they are registered from? Okay, and once you do that, when you get a phone call, do you look in your CRM? This is one of the only things that CRM is good for, CRMs are good for, is actually tracking where the source of your lead was, finding out how many that you have, what that lead, when, you've, when they actually make a call to you, do you convert that call into an appointment? Does the appointment convert into a sale? This strategy, this formula, which has been around since the 1930s, is called breaking it down to the ridiculous. And let me explain the simple part of it. If it took 100 people to come to their website, that then took two of them registered with the site, and then one of those two people turned into an appointment, and then that appointment turned into a $3,000 commission, the formula is super, super, super simple. The formula is you take 100 and you break it out into how much you spent to get the 100. So if it's just maintenance on the website, like $100 a month, that's what you spent. It's a dollar per person. If it's you're hiring a marketing company like Inbound REM, the company that I founded, then more likely it's 5 or $6 a person in the example that it was oh, like 100 people. And then you take the, you take the formula and you say, all right, it took me $500 to generate one person, which is a $3,000 commission, and now it's a five to one return. Now, why and how does that help you make marketing decisions? Every single day, people call into me and they go, oh, should I keep my website? Should I do this? Should I do that? And then I go, well, let's apply the magic formula. Let's just see how many people came to that site, what happened with those people, and did you close any of them? And when, those, when the people, person on the other end of the phone can answer the question, the math makes the decision for you. If you have a website that's making you $6,000 in commission per year and costing you five, but taking up five or 10 of your hours, and you know what you're, you again apply the magic formula, you take a look at your total amount of time that you work in real estate, and then you take the total amount that you make, you divide the total, into per days and that tells you how much you make per hour and then you go, you look at the remaining 10 hours and you go, oh, am I going, did I, with those 10 hours added into the mix, did I make or lose money? And just like the Benjamin Franklin, for those of you that are familiar, it's the easiest formula in the world. It may sound a little complicated right now, but when you get used to breaking everything down to its mathematical bare Necessities, it's going to make all the decisions for you. There is no more thought. You look at your hourly, connect it into the formula, and you go, oh, hey, I make about $500 an hour, which is average for a successful real estate agent. So then you go, oh, my goodness, $500 an hour times 10 hours means I spend $5,000 of my time plus $5,000 a year. So that's $10,000 total, but I'm only making six. And guess what? Cancel the bloody website. Don't ask me or a guy like me the question. Just cancel it. Now, usually the math is way more dramatic than the situation that I just told you. Usually when you look at it, it's either somebody has never made a sale that they can track back to the site, or the number one answer that I get is I am not sure. That is where you go, come back to this video, okay? Memorize the formula. You wanna break everything that you do 
down to a mathematical equation. Okay, so in digital, it's going to be visitors, appointments, sales. Okay, visitors, calls, sales. Each action. And then if it took you 30 appointments to get one sale, you start taking a look at the hours. You break the math down to the ridiculous. How much do you make per year? How much is your time per hour? And how much time do you spend chasing leads? That is also another way to make a decision about what marketing company that you should be, that you should be partnered with. If it takes you, if you make, uh, pay yourself $300 an hour, but you're spending 70% of your time chasing leads, and you have a reasonable database to maybe pursue a marketing difference, you might go, well, I think that I can more effectively use my time and maybe give myself a raise by chasing, by creating inbound leads as opposed to chasing them. Breaking everything down to the ridiculous. Where do you spend your time? How much is that time worth? What else can you be doing with it? All right, thank you so much. I've been Robert Newman. I hope you liked the video. Goodbye.